Welcome to another daily episode. Well, that's not true. Let's do that again. Welcome to another episode of the Tear and Shane Show. What we're going to do shortly is a workout similar to what we would find ourselves doing for the regionals prep, given that most of our team is actually heading over towards the West Coast Classic in Vegas in about six and a half weeks. We're actually implementing uh, more regional style workouts, not necessarily the workouts themselves, but the format or the style. We're going to increase the weight on the overhead squat, so each round obviously will get heavier by 10 pounds for each, for the male and the female bar. And that starting weight, I believe, you'll have to watch the video to find out exactly what it is, but it's 135 for the men. Nope, that's a lot. 155 for the men, and I think it's 125 for the ladies. I could even got that wrong. We're, this is just like a, a remix version. I like to call the word remix in for some of our workouts. Remix of original event seven. To this town, ain't it obvious? It's so obvious. No fear, no amount will keep my roots stuck in this ground. Ain't it obvious? question how do I keep going after doing this for seven plus years it's actually my ninth yeah because it was my ninth open um, honestly just I have a lot of determination and, and desire to achieve certain dreams and, and aspirations but you know, sometimes you can lose track of that when it's really hard days. So having just a really good atmosphere and having the right people behind you and, you know, with you on a regular basis. Sometimes there's going to be days where I'm just here by myself grinding it out. But more often than not, I have the likes of Shane. I have, you know, some of my proven guys that have been training with this season. And having that and having them creating an awesome atmosphere just makes it that much more enjoyable. What would I do? Now, I think I guess, I think she knows best. I think I think what we have to realize is if, it's, if it happened today because the workout was hard, I'd want her to revisit or rethink it, maybe give it 24 hours and let's have another talk. But if she's adamant about she's done, she's done. But knowing Tia, I don't think she would settle to leave the season halfway through. I feel like, and I think you know her as well, is that um, if she says she's going to do it, she's going to commit to it, and I think that just goes to, goes to show the kind of person she is, and I think that wouldn't be true to her values or true to what she's been trying to represent. I will challenge her, but I think I'll know if she wants to walk away completely. I did make a rule, though. Oh, we made a fun rule a couple of years ago that if she was ever to snatch 100 kilos, so 220, at a competition, she could walk off halfway mid-event and retire then and there if she, if she wanted to too. So 
Let's see, maybe this year we might see a 1RM snatch and then we'll find out whether or not she'll finish the competition, so that'll be fun. We're just sitting here this morning and we were um, wondering what I would do if I was to retire and it made me start to think because I guess it's never really been something that has been brought up or asked me, you know, what do I do when I retire out of CrossFit? And <clears throat> it's one of those things where I really don't know. Um, I know that I definitely have aspirations to help and inspire the younger generation. Um, I want people to see what I've done in my journey and be able to learn and look at what I've done and think and believe in themselves that hey if Tia did it well then you know I can do it too and I also want to be able to utilize what I've learned what Shane and I have been able to build and create over the years that we've been doing this and help younger people and people that are looking to strive to be their best and fast track their journey so that they don't have to go through the things that we've learned and you know we've made mistakes along the way and hopefully one day we're able to actually help someone or many people uh, go out there and achieve that and then I also look at our proven guys you know we have some young athletes that I'm training with currently and you know I, I'm sure if I decided to retire and they were to continue why not help them to be the absolute best that they can be and and I really believe that they can be the very best in the world and so um, being in their corner and helping them you know going to competitions making sure their food is uh, there ready for when they get off the floor or you know before they go on the floor making sure that they have all their stuff just just essentially being there to service them and make make sure that their job is that little bit more easier um, and then having or being retired I think that would free up a lot of my my time so I would be a lot more available not only to um, you know our proven crew but also to my sponsors and I also think that I could create and do other projects that can help the world and, and help people um, you know pursue their greatness and um, that's something that I also think I would look forward to in doing because you know they're things that I can't do or I just don't do have time to do and to dedicate the time that's required to do them um, so yeah there's there's a lot I, I actually think I'd be very very busy the day I became retired Oh yeah. Yo, let's do this. Got pics of homie rolling. Money off of my condolence. You don't know just how I'm doing. And the sign is golden broke because they know him for talking fluent. Got him under the influence. The truth is talking to him. But it's on your ego.